time and here is the date and time when it was um, gener when the report was generated okay so now we have a simple report created let me go back to our presentation that was a demo to illustrate how you can create a, a simple report based on desktop application uh, using uh, open source but and um, Eclipse. Okay. Now, if you do want to gener uh, develop a web-based applica BERT application or a rep uh, rep using BERT reporting tool, you do need to download Apache to act as a web server. If you do want to add charts to your report, then um, download BERT chart engine, and that's also available on the Eclipse website. If you you do need to have BERT report engine in order to uh, display the BERT report on the web, so that also you can find it on the Eclipse website. And if you want to integrate it with Java application, you will need the Java uh, from javasun.com. So with that, I would like to transfer the slide to Mark. Great. Thank you, uh, Basie. I'm going to uh, go ahead and throw a uh, title slide. And uh, we're, I also have some questions that uh, have come in, and I'd like to invite our audience to submit questions for our panelists uh, by uh, utilizing the uh, questions um, pane that you should see uh, in the various uh, uh, panes and panels that are available to you in the GoToWebinar uh, viewing panel. So we already have some questions coming in. Um, this one is addressed to Shaku. Mm -hmm. How okay. does one get a... How does one get a strong business sponsor for implementing a BI solution? Isn't that difficult? And this comes to us from David. Yeah, it's one of the toughest things to do. Before you talk anything about Apache and about BERT and about anything else, you have to have money to get going because even if you don't pay for open source software, you have to pay the people who are going to develop whatever you want to develop. So getting a sponsor, um, and not only a sponsor, but getting a strong sponsor who is going to also help you when the um, rough spots come, that you don't meet the deadlines, or you have not supplied the deliverables, and you need more money. And some other problems which always come up, uh, because I always have uh, for any project, I use three maxims. One is, it always takes longer than you think. The second one, it always costs more than you think. And you always get less than you think. These are my three maxims of any project. So getting a strong sponsor is one of the toughest things to do. So if it's going to be the IT people who are looking for sponsors, they have to get involved in some politics. They have to understand the business. Just talking about Apache and Java is not going to get them anywhere. So you have to understand the politics of the company, not only just the politics, but what is it that makes the company tick and how you can help the company tick even better so that you come up with some project plan which will really get attention of the people with the purses, and that's when you are going to have the purse string. So this is more political. It is not technical. Technology is really the means to the goal. Never, ever think about any project just starting with technology. You have to first see how the business is going to benefit from whatever you are going to do, and that's what the business intelligence is about. That means people, IT people, have to start learning the business, what the business they are in. So if that helps, that's my answer. It's not easy. Excellent. Definitely a lot of facets to consider. Um, we are up at the uh, end of the hour, so I think we'll only entertain a couple of other questions, but um, I would like to invite uh, anyone to 
uh, email specific questions. Uh, you see Shaku's email on screen, and uh, or or you can email any of us. Or uh, also the uh, uh, this particular session is being recorded and will be posted uh, at a later date, and we will uh, alert all attendees uh, when that posting is up. Yeah. So, Mark, get, Mark, yes. maybe if anybody wants to have slides from of anybody, why don't you send to me Shaku S H A K U at atre, A-T-R-E, dot com, and I'll make sure you get those slides, as well as we will, I will send you the link of the recorded session, which we will put on our website, as well as on Mlogica's website, so I'll send you that link, okay? So send it to me, and I will take care of it, and Mark, if I have to send the your slides, I will copy you on it, Vezi, if I have to send Vezi's slide, I will copy Vezi on it. That sounds like a great plan. Thank you very much, uh, Shaku. Let's take our final two questions. Uh, first one can be very quick, and I will field this one. Um, how can I download the reporting tool BERT for our dashboard, and what is the charge? Um, BERT, uh, the development environment, is available completely free of charge. Um, the open source version can be obtained at BERT-exchange.com, where you will also find a uh, 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 vibrant and lively forums, uh, how-to videos, examples, and a marketplace of applications built with BERT that you can uh, use as starting places for your own applications. And then obviously you can also download it directly from eclipse.org, uh, which is the uh, ultimate custodian of the, uh, the uh, open source BERT product line. The next question that we have I think can be answered in part by myself and perhaps in part by Bayesi. Um, Mark asks, what about report scheduling and distribution like Business Objects Enterprise? So I can answer from the, uh, uh, the, the traditional BI or, or Business Objects Enterprise uh, side of things, and perhaps Daisy can entertain how one might achieve this in open source. Um, but in, in short, uh, report scheduling and distribution is one of those value-add commercial features that Actuate has provided on top of the open source BERT uh, foundation. So this was in reference uh, specifically to the iServer that I mentioned during my presentation. The iServer handles all of the scheduling, versioning, archiving, uh, deployment and distribution, security, uh, entitlement, and all of the other types of uh, features that would be expected uh, in any robust um, uh, BI implementation. And I know in open source, uh, this is obviously is something that was would need to be built actually um, by the programmers utilizing the zero cost uh, BERT engine that uh, Veji talked about. And, and I don't know, Veji, if you have some insight into how you, one might achieve that with pure open source. But. <laughs> Eclipse actually provides you a link to download um, Eclipse with BERT integrated with it. So if you do select all in one option, as I stated in one of the slides, um, you will get everything uh, as a package. Otherwise, if you already have some of the features installed and you want to select a particular um, product, then you can also individually install uh, install that. But if you are a beginner, I would suggest uh, selecting the option all in one. Um, Eclipse. If you go to Eclipse.org website, it does have support for uh, but reporting tool, um, and you would need a database. And again, if you are working with the open source technology, then uh, MySQL is a good uh, database to go with. Great. Thank you. And so uh, in summary for the uh, question about report scheduling and distribution in open source, that is really up to uh, the application developer to build those capabilities. But obviously you get the BERT benefit of the BERT design environment and an engine to deploy it uh, at zero cost. And if uh, you'd rather use out of the box robust and tested, uh, road tested um, scheduling and management and security features, then the Actuate I server is automatically set up to house and deploy and secure those BERT uh, uh, reports. 
So uh, with that, we've run about six minutes over, so the rest of the questions will be uh, uh, answered via email. And again, if uh, additional questions should occur to you, please reach out directly to Shaku at shaku at atre.com. And uh, she will funnel those questions to the appropriate panelists. And it's been our great pleasure to present to you today. Thank you for joining. And uh, at this point, you can sign off, and we